the price difference between gold spot price and premium price. Matter of fact, what is spot price and what is premium price in gold and silver? Welcome to another video of Urban Lifestyle. My name is Eli and today we're going to be talking about the math behind gold prices. Now, I do want to say that this video has been inspired by Silver Butcher. All right? He left a comment saying, hey, I would love to see you go into the math behind the premiums and um, the gold prices. So I said, hey, that's a very good idea for a video. All right, now before we get started, I would like to ask you guys to please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment below if you have any questions, and also don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you guys can get future notifications of my future videos. So and again, we're talking about gold again, and the price is behind gold, okay? So let's just start off by saying what is spot and what is premium? Spot price is wherever gold is at the market today. All right, so if gold goes extra um, $10, then the spot price is gonna be changing an extra $10. So whatever the stock market shows that gold is at right now, that is a spot price. Now, in return, a premium price is whatever an online dealer is actually adding on to the price for their gold. Now, I search a lot of online dealers and we have some premium that's reasonable. We also have some premium that's not reasonable. So today I'm gonna be going through the math. This took a long time, guys. This really took a long time, making sure the number was right. And to be honest, I'm not 100% sure that the numbers is right, but I am sort of, kinda, a number guy. So I am a good 80% sure that I'm close to the correct answer, all right? So what we have here is, we have an ounce, we have a tenth of an ounce, and we have a gram. Now, of course, there's different sizes, but these are the main three that I'm gonna be focusing on today. So we also have the spot price. We'll talk about the premium. We'll talk about the shipping. And we'll also talk about total, okay? So if we go here, one ounce of gold. One ounce of gold is actually at spot price. Right now, when I, well, well, when I last did my check, is actually $1,320.10. That's the spot price, all right? Now, if we wanna calculate some premium, I actually checked up most of the premiums, averaging between $65 to $120. Now, the shipping, depending on the online dealership that you're actually buying your gold from, it could range in between $10 to $20. I have seen some dealerships where they say, hey, any order above $100 is free shipping. So, most likely, nine times out of 10, you won't be paying shipping. The total I've actually seen for gold, for one ounce of gold, is actually $1,450. So, that's about a little bit over $100 extra of a premium and if you factor in shipping as well, if you have to pay shipping, that factors in about a little bit over 100. So now if we go to one tenth of an ounce, it will take you 10 of these to actually make one ounce, okay? So I pretty much base this math based on these numbers right here. Okay, so if you take this number right here, which is 1,320 divided by 10, it would give you $132.01. So now if you want to factor in, I checked up all the websites again, and I've seen that the premium average in between 14 to 20. Now, one thing I didn't mention on this one, there's two sets of numbers right here. That's because some companies, you know, if, if you give them check, wire, and I've actually seen some that accept Bitcoin. So for one ounce of gold, if you pay by check, wire, or maybe even Bitcoin, depending on the dealer, you would actually have to pay $65 extra for the premium. Now, if you're paying by car, PayPal, they'll charge in between 120 and up, all right? So now let's go back to the one-tenth of an ounce. So right here, if you have wire or check or Bitcoin for some companies, they'll charge you in between 14 to 20. Now, if you're paying card, they're gonna actually charge you 16 to 22. You already know the deal on shipping. Depending on your location or depending on the amount that you're paying for, you may not even have to pay shipping. So the benefits of actually getting this is you don't have to pay this whole price in total, but if you do ever decide to get 10, you'll have to pay an extra 50 bucks, which is not bad per se. Now, if we go here for one gram of gold, it'll actually, spot price is actually $42.50 for the spot price of one gram of gold, okay? Now, if you go here, if you're paying the wire check, it actually charges in between five to nine dollars. If you're paying card, they'll charge you in between seven to eleven dollars. Okay. Now this one I've paid shipping on because there's times where I only brought one, 
Now, if you buy two of them, and of course, with factoring all that, they won't charge you any shipping. But that's the company I've been using, which is Atmex. Now, for me, one gram, it'll take 31 grams of actual gram of gold to actually make one ounce. To actually make one ounce of gold, okay? So if you factor all that in, if you buy 31 grams of this, it will cost you 1,550. Now the benefit is again, you may not have the money to actually buy 1,500 or even to buy this, so you can buy it in pieces. You may not have all in once, but you just, you can't wait to buy some gold. You wanna have some sort of physical gold. So you start buying this at this price. Of course, with the premium, you add this into it, which runs you about anywhere between 50, 52. So yeah, so as you can see, the trend here that I've actually caught on to was actually, it starts at 1,450. Right here, it costs you an extra $50. And then it goes over extra $50 by landed off at $1,550. And this is actually, like I said, this can change any time throughout the day. All right, if gold prices go up by $10 tomorrow and you're watching this tomorrow, all this is off. And matter of fact, I don't even know if this is right because when I checked it, I didn't continuously check it. I just looked at it and checked the spot price for that time and I based the numbers based off that. So hopefully you found this video interested and I wanna ask you to please hit that subscribe button, comment below if you have any questions and leave a thumbs up. And thank you again for watching another video from Urban Lifestyle. My name is Eli and I'll see you next time. That's why I work.